Okay, here we go. Um, back uh, at it with assignment number two. Uh, in assignment number one, we took a look at kind of basic UI setup. Um, we're introduced to some kind of event handlers and those kind of things. Um, but now we're kind of moving on. We're going to take a closer look in lesson number two at variables and what variables are. So I'm just going to come up here. We're going to start a new project. So file new project, similar to the way we did this before. Uh, down here, and take a look, I saved C users, your username, and I have Visual Studio projects. Um, good idea to get in that habit, um, just for us, for the sake of this class, uh, naming it last name, first name, and then we'll just call it assignment 2. And that's good enough. Make sure it's a C Sharp Windows Forms application is what we're going to be working with now. Click OK. So we should have a project coming up here. Uh, once again, let's just expand that kind of form a little bit. Um, make sure you have a toolbox here. Um, a few minutes ago, I just kind of came into here and the toolbox wasn't viewable. If that's not the case, go View and uh, Toolbox somewhere in there. Anyways, mine is up right now, so I can see that. So uh, we want to add a few labels here. We're going to display um, these different variables. And we're going to talk about four different types of variables. So let's just do four different labels here. Um, so I'm just going to go come down here. I'm going to grab a label from here. You could do a search as well. It would be fine. Uh, we are going to start with that same kind of type that we had initially. So let's rename this. Uh, label label integer and then let's go down and like give that a little bit make the text so it's says the word integer and we can look like that and then we should be okay to go with the next one so I'm gonna go grab another label second type of variable we're gonna talk about is uh, a string and so I'll rename this one label string I'm using the LBL just as kind of some kind of prefix I use for strings it's just a personal choice um, and then the text here let's call this string and then let's get another one let's grab another label here this one. Um, what did I want to do next? We'll call this label bool. Come down, change text to bool. And then last thing, I'll go toolbox here. Last one I want to do is a double. And these are kind of the basic types that I end up using the most often. Label, double. I think if you know these and can convert between these, you all know how to do most things. We're going to talk about a uh, more complicated variable and array. Lesson. So, but this first lesson we're going to stick to integer, string, bool, and double. So let's kind of get introduced to those. So, um, just if we kind of click on the form here, and if you double click on the form, it's going to take us to the code behind. And notice that it initialized another event handler there, okay, which is form load. So the default event handler for form is form load, and so this event fires every time um, the form is loaded. And so we're just going to kind of put some variables in here and then when our form loads up, so when our application actually starts up, we're going to display um, those numbers in our form. And so the first one that we started with was integer, and so the prefix for integer is int, I-N-T, and we'll just call it int number, okay, which is what we use integers for. Now, I could just initialize um, this int number Okay, and then after the fact, I could go number 
equals say seven and semi colon to kind of finish that off and that would be fine ok um, and so I have that there that's one legal way to do that ok is I have this number here initialized and then give it a value but I can actually put that all in one line and I can go int number equals seven and it's initialized and it has a value and we're good to go ok so that's the first kind of type of value um, that I want to show. I'm going to just put a comment in there, in, integer, um, just to kind of label that. Good idea to always be kind of commenting your code so you know what's going on. So, and that's what we're going to do within this kind of form here. So, integer, int number equals seven. Now I could also have put this stuff up here as a public variable, and that would have been fine. But since we're just loading up the form when it loads it's going to be initialized and that's going to be fine. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was kind of displaying this because in number format if you remember the label property that displays the text is actually a string value. So I need to be able to convert this into a string in order to display it. And So if I want to set um, that label integer text which is the property of that um, label to that number what I would need to do is I would need to go equals number and you're gonna see this valuable kind of method here to string so notice after the dot it starts to guess what I want to do in this case I want to go to string and then we have since it's a method we need to um, put um, brackets on either side there quickly um, open bracket close bracket right there just like that um, and then it's able to display that and so you can see now if I run my application where integer used to be it's now going to display that number seven so you can see it's now displaying that number seven whereas these other um, labels just have their kind of de default value that we had for them up there Okay, and so we have seven there. Um, pretty simple stuff. Okay, we know a little bit about integers already and how to convert them into string from the last lesson. Um, and so the other type, the next type that I want to talk about was actually the string. Okay, strings we initialize with the prefix string, and then with that we'll say some word. Okay, so anytime I want to display a word or have a value that's a word, a variable that's a word, so I'll call this string some word, and I'm just going to make it equal. Now, a little difference here than when you're working with numbers, we have to actually put um, quotation marks around every kind of word or every string that we're dealing with. And so, string some word, and I put uh, quotation marks, and inside there I'll say some word okay make that value very simple okay and so you can notice that it highlighted a little bit differently there once it's in those uh, quotation marks and that's how I would initialize some word now with this if I want to take that to label string okay and I want to display against the text property of that if I want to display some word, now I just need to go equals some word, and I shouldn't need to convert that to a string because it's already in string format. So the difference when you look here, when I want to display this integer value, okay, I needed it to convert to the same type in order for that to display. Down here, since a string is the same type as this text property. I don't need to convert that, so I just need to go label string text equals some word, and it should display properly. So let's just save and run our program, and we should now be able to see some word as the value of um, the label there that we had um, in place for the string. Okay, so you can see that's flipped, and this event, like I said, just fired on load. Okay, so as soon as it loaded up, it just changed those values. Okay, fairly straightforward. 
Uh, the next kind of type of variable that we deal with a lot is, let me say bool. And in some ways, bool may be the simplest. Um, it's just a true and false value. So I just put in the comment there, bool. Notice that I'm commenting as I go. Um, and so with a bool, okay, a bool, I don't know, we'll say yes or no. I'll give us the name for this. And we'll go equals. Uh, in this case, we'll display true. Bools can only be true or false. And so you notice that it's highlighted different as well, okay? This bool, when I put its value in as true, okay, it's highlighted as blue, okay? And it can only be true or false. And so it's important for you to understand that. Um, now, with a bool, since it's not the same type as that label text, it's going to have to be converted as well. And we do that exactly the same way as we would do an integer. So label um, bool text equals, uh, we'll say yes or no, which was the name of my variable, dot, and then again, it's to string. We can just click on that, it'll fill for us, and then we have here, okay? And so now, I have my second type, bool variable, so we use this anytime we need to kind of switch and make decisions. You're going to learn um, when we get to the decision-making kind of lesson, which is coming up in lesson number three, or assignment number three, um, how we want to make decisions, and so bools become more important at that time, okay? Um, but for right now, we can just have this bool and convert it to a string just to display for us. Uh, save, and then just run, and you should see now, it should say true. So we have an integer, we have a word variable, and then true or false is what bools are for, okay, making those kind of quick decisions. Uh, and then the last one we need to cover is a double, okay? And so, double, uh, maybe I want to be more descriptive with some of these, double handles um, decimals. And there's some different things you can do there. Well, I'm going to just comment bool as well. Bool handles true or false. Uh, we'll say that. String used for words. And integer used for integer numbers. Craig Goldman, please call the okay. office. Craig Goldman, call the office. So when I'm talking about integer numbers, I'm really talking about numbers that are either are positive or negative. And so I think most of you guys know that from math class or whatever, but um, then I'm, like I said, when I'm dealing with decimals, I need to use double. And so to initialize double, I need to go double, uh, and we'll say decimal numbers, we'll call this variable. And then I can put that in 1.6, okay? So enter a decimal number there. And then I'm good to go. Oftentimes in calculating kind of programs, you're going to need to work with decimals, and so you're going to need doubles for those um, circumstances. And then once again, if I want to display that label double dot text, I'm going to have to convert this because double is obviously not a string. Uh, and so I want to go uh, decimal. You can see it's nice that fills dot. Uh, and that should now display for me. Okay, so it should be fairly straightforward here when I run the application. We now have an integer. We have our kind of string value. You have a bool, and you have a double there. Okay, um, fairly straightforward. Um, four of your probably most commonly used um, variable types. And so we're going to see where these types are used um, and how they're used in kind of future lessons. But this was just kind of a quick introduction to those. Um, so you should be at this stage. Um, have that in place um, for part two, the second part of our lesson, where we're going to talk about a little bit more complicated um, type of variable in arrays.